Globally, the conditions are ideal for more variants to emerge. As we enter year three of the COVID-19 pandemic, scientists are keeping an eye on a new form of the highly contagious Omicron variant. Little is known about the BA2 strain, but it has been detected in Europe, Asia, and the US. Researchers right here in Arizona say they have detected a handful of cases of this new mutation in our state. It has been dubbed Stealth Omicron because some experts say it shows up differently on a PCR test. Our Whitney Clark spoke with scientists right here in the Valley today. She speaks with, um, she's here in the studio with us. And what, have, what are they finding here? So, Jamie, we want to give you guys a look at this COVID variant tracking dashboard. This is done by the nonprofit TGen. Now, they actually maintain this site for the state health department and the CDC. Look here how Omicron has really evolved. This is the beginning of December. You can see Delta clearly the dominant strain. And then the most recent statistics show Omicron, of course, is now the dominant strain here in Arizona. Researchers tell me if you do have COVID, it's likely Omicron. It's safe to say more than 99% of COVID-19 cases in Arizona right now are Omicron. That's according to Dr. Dave Ingelthaler. He's the director of the infectious disease arm of TGen, based in Flagstaff. So far, the new BA2 strain, he says, does not seem to be very different than other forms of Omicron. In reality, uh, it's just another flavor of Omicron, and, and it seems to be unremarkable, uh, the differences between the different strains that are out there right now. Scientists say there is still a lot to learn about the so-called new Omicron, and there is not evidence to suggest it causes more severe illness or if it's more contagious than the original. Since Omicron was first detected, the doctor says it's proven to spread faster than Delta, but thankfully with a lower fatality rate, and he hopes all Omicron versions will carry on the same. The people at risk for serious illness right now are pretty much only the unvaccinated and in the high risk categories. So we still want those individuals to be protected. How many more COVID variants will we see? Dr. Ingelthaler says it will most likely go on and on because it's becoming an endemic pathogen in humans. It means it will continue to cycle with new variants popping up. He says that, of course, happens with other viruses like the flu, and experts will have to improve vaccines on an annual basis. Forecasting out now, unless anything surprising happens, the doctor predicts a lot of people will have COVID immunity throughout the summer, and we could see Omicron go up again in the colder months or a new version of the virus. Jamie.